Hi, I'm Todd Rosenbluth, Head of Research, and we're here at the Exchange Conference. I'm here with Danielle Gilbert, who leads business development for Panagram. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me today. So we're talking about CLOs. Why is now a good time for advisors to be thinking about that? Well, it's actually really exciting for advisors because it's new access for the, the individual investor. So the CLO market is actually a $1.2 trillion market. We're predicting it to grow to another 100 to 120 billion this year, but the asset itself has been traditionally institutional. If you think about it that in size, it's equivalent to like the US high yield market. Right. But to date, there really hasn't been pure play exposure into them more recently, and now they're CLO ETFs. The other thing that's great about the CLO product is it's been cycle tested. So since the 90s, the product's gone through a lot of cycles, including the GFC, and then most recently COVID with incredible performance. In fact, every CLO that S&P has rated, if you take an aggregate, the cumulative de default across all the weighted rating spectrum, it's less than 1% default, which is insane. Wow. And the third thing that I think is important to know is when you're accessing a CLO, it's very diverse exposure. Each CLO, the underlying, is exposure to corporate loan, 150 to 300 corporate loans. This is small pieces of loans to large companies. Just by giving examples of names would be like, um, off the top of my head, like Formula One, Restoration Hardware, United Airlines. These are businesses that people know, but you're getting loan risk not equity risk, loan list. So you're sitting at the top of a corporate capital structure, which we feel like is a safe, sound asset, especially with all the volatility of the market today. So I'd love to hear more about why Panagram, your expertise within the overall space. Well, this is what Panagram does. We are experts in CLO investing. We actually manage a very sizable institutional portfolio. We uh, manage 17 billion in AUM. More than half of that is CLO investment related. And within the asset class, we're known as the experts. Our team, this is what they've been doing their entire careers. And it's an asset class that although it's massive, it still requires expertise to navigate. So you now have two different ETFs available in the marketplace. Tell me the differences between them. Sure, okay, so we have two ETFs. The tickers are CLOX and CLOZ. And the ETFs provide pure play exposure to CLOs. They're both income producers. They pay monthly dividend. If we think about CLO X first, I could like to call it extra because it's extra protection. That's giving you access to CLO triple A's. So it's pure play to CLO triple A's. In the history of the CLO market, there's never been a CLO triple A default. That's right now yielding an investor six and a half percent. That's income that we distribute monthly. The other product that we have, CLO Z, is going to be for that higher risk adjusted, more akin to an equi uh, replacement on high yield or loan, direct loan investment. And that right now is yielding 10%, that CLOZ. And the inception date of return on that product, we launched it last year, it's 16% time. So it's been an incredible asset to offer to investors. And one, it's one share, it's going to be equivalent to what, $26? Where if I was an institutional investor, traditionally it would be massive amounts of deployment that you'd have to do in order to get such a diverse portfolio back to. Wow. So I know we're here on exchange. So glad you're here. Just tell me your quick impressions. I love it. It's such an efficient place to kind of see everybody in the industry and you guys and your partners make it easy for us to navigate and meet and come to this wonderful conference. So thank you for including. Yeah. Them. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being a part of, of it with us. Yeah, it's fun. We'll see you next time. Thank you.